Hey, thanks for joining us again today. And uh, we're going to move along and finish up this little picture from 2 Chronicles chapter 7 that I began a couple of days ago. You remember we talked about God's presence filling the temple that Solomon had completed. He's dedicated it with thousands of animals and grain offerings and all of those things that were offered to God and prayed that God would accept it. And then God's going to respond. And it says, one night at verse 12, the Lord appeared to Solomon. This is after he's dismissed the people. They've gone back home. The celebration is over. And God says, I've heard your prayer and have chosen this temple as the place for making sacrifices. At times, now he's going to point out if the people turn their back on God, even though they've promised not to, at times I might shut up the heavens so that no rain falls or command grasshoppers to devour your crops or send plagues among you. Then, verse 14, this is the passage that's often quoted out of this section. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and restore their land. I want you to notice that God makes four conditions and three great promises. And I really think the same thing applies to us today and to our land in many respects. He says, first of all, if the people who are called by name, my name will humble themselves. Humility is always the starting place for us to come to God. Arrogance and pridefulness are things that God turns away from, but to the humble, God gives his grace, James tells us. So the first thing we need to do is, is humble ourselves before God. The second thing he says is to pray. We need to seek God and pray to him, ask for his favors, thank him for his blessings, and that again is preceded by humility. And the third condition that he says is seeking his face. Now this is more than prayer. This is actually a a desire for intimacy and closeness and communion and communication with God. It's, it's to dry, try to draw closer to God. So he says, if the people will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and in the last condition, he said, turn from their wicked ways. That is stop sin, stop sinning in our lives. If we'll do those four things, he promised them what he would do for them is I will hear from heaven, I'll forgive your sins, and I'll restore the land. You see, maybe that's the very same thing we need to do today. Maybe it is that we need to humble ourselves and pray and seek God's face and turn from our sin so that God will hear, God will restore this land, and God will forgive our sins. Think about those things today, and join us tomorrow as we'll have something more to say from God's word, a word of encouragement.